Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more program in Python that is to find the twisted prime, right? So first let us see what is the twisted prime and then we'll go with the logic and I will show the implementation using Python programming. So let us see what is a twisted prime. So if a number and reverse of that number are primes, then we call it as a twisted primes. So if number and reverse reverse of given number <coughs> both are primes then we call it as twisted primes okay twisted primes so let us take an example so that you will be understanding perfectly so example so let us take some n is equal to 13 and we need to reverse of a number right reverse of n is 31 so here you can see here you can see 13 is a prime where it is having factors of 1 and 13 similarly the reverse number of n is 31 and 31 is also a prime where it is having factors of 1 and 31 right so we know that uh, if any number is having the factors 1 and itself we call it as a prime so how to find the prime we have discussed in the previous session so once again i am repeating so we need to uh, divide that particular number from 2 number 2 because if we divide that number with 1 definitely we will get a factor right so we have to start dividing that particular number given number from 2 to that number minus 1 because the prime will be having only factors of 1 and itself so that means the number will be divisible by only 1 and that particular number so apart from these two we have to continuously dividing the given number with all the numbers in between right so if there is any factor appears we can say it is not a prime and if there is no factors we can say it is a prime so already we have seen this prime logic in the previous session so please uh, refer that one if you are having any still any idea okay in, in need any idea now i will implement the same thing in python so first let us take the input n is equal to int of uh, input the input function will read the input value from the keyboard so number and i will copy that number to another variable right now let us rev first find the reverse of a number so for finding the reverse of a number simply uh, give the iterate the loop until the number is greater than 0 and find out the remainder that means finding the individual digit r is equal to x mod 10 and we need to add some right so reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus remainder so it will automatically keeps on updating the number right and after that after every iteration we have to update the number that means we have to reduce the number of digits so if you take some three digit number after first iteration it should get the two digit number so for that purpose i am going x is equal to x mod 10 so simply after that you can print and check the reverse number see now initially the reverse number uh, the reverse variable is equal to zero because we are here we are updating the value so first initially we can take it as a zero so if you consider 13 the reverse of a number is 31 now we got the reverse of a number successfully what we have to do next so we have to check whether the given number and the reverse number are prime or not okay so for that i am just writing the condition if a prime of n prime of n and prime of reverse okay so if both are true simply we can say n is a twisted prime right and the false condition if, if it is false then simply we can write a else part here so print uh, n is not a twisted prime right now here we are giving a prime of n and prime of reverse so we need to find 
whether the L is prime as well as reverse is prime. So in order to uh, write the two logics, I mean two times, the same logic two times, we can use a function. We can write a function and we can pass a different parameter. So that's what we are doing here. The prime of n. Here the prime is a user defined function and we have to write that user defined function. So first we will write the user defined function. So prime and here uh, simply consider any other value some m. Okay. So that if in this function call n will be copied to m and in this function call reverse is copied to m. So what we have to do? We have to iterate from 2 to that particular minus 1. Right. So for that for i in a range of 2 to m. So in the range function if you give m as a stop index it does not include the m so it will iterate till m minus 1. So m minus 1 what we have to do we have to divide that particular number with each and every element right. So if uh, m mod i is equal to is equal to 0 if there is any division successful that implies it is a factor. So we can simply go with the flag is equal to 1 and you can break. So even though if, if any one factor is there we can simply say it is not a prime right and after that simply uh, give here after the for loop check the condition uh, check the flag value if flag is equal to 1 that means it is not a prime so return 0. So if you return 0 that is a false condition right. So else else return 1. So if, if it returns 1 so this value will become 1 and this value becomes 1 right. So initially we will consider the flag value flag value as 0 right. So after executing this one so first we are uh, writing the function definition so this will be executed only after the function call so this will be executed so we will get the reverse of a number and then we are passing n value to the prime function and reverse value to the prime function. So in the if the both the values are true then only we can say n is a twisted prime. Otherwise we will get the not a twisted prime. Okay. So you can execute this one. So I will give 31. So 31 is a twisted prime. So I will remove this one. or here, here simply you can print the both the values print so number a given number given number n and again print reverse of a number RUB right. So if you go with 31 see given number is 31 and reverse of a number is 13. So 31 is a fixed prime because both are primes because uh, both are primes okay. So you can take one more example 17 or 7 yes 71. So 71 is a prime. So if you execute the given number is 17 and reverse of a number is 17 17. So it will be a twisted prime. And one more thing 23, 23 is a prime but the reverse of a number is 32 which will be having a factor right. It is not a prime, 32 is not a prime even though 23 is a prime reverse of a number is not a prime. So simply we can say 23 is not a twisted prime right. So a number is called as a twisted prime if that particular number and the reverse of that particular number are both primes then, we, then only we can say it as a twisted prime number. Right. So hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.